Let me ask you this. Why does God test our faith? Why does he test our faith in him? Why does he test our faith in his promises that he will never leave us nor forsake us? Why does he test us? Two reasons. He wants to show us if our faith is real or manufactured. He wants to show us if our faith is just in words or it's in action. Words or deed. Secondly, he tests our faith so that he can strengthen our faith in order that we might fulfill his purpose in our life. Did you know that God tests our faith so that he can prove himself to you? Did you know that? Gideon's 32,000 were too many. God couldn't use them. He said, I only want 300. Wait a minute, Lord, 300? 300. 300? I may have flunked statistics in college, but I can even figure this one myself. This is less than 1% of what Gideon needed. I can even figure this one out. This is 1 to 400. What kind of odds are these? <laughs> Only God can work with these kinds of odds. Did you know that? Only God loves those kinds of odds. One to 400. Oh, but you see, less is more when God is in it. God could have clicked his fingers and decimated the Midianites, right? Really, the Midianites were not God's problem. In fact, God was using the Midianites in order to chastise his own children. So the Midianites were not the problem. He could have done it without any, not 300, not three, not one. He could have done it all by himself. <laughs> but God longs for his people to learn to trust in him. God longs for his people to place complete trust in his promises. God longs for his people to humble themselves before him and know that he is God and he will keep his promises no matter what. God's problem was the lack of faith of his people. That was his problem. And the same is in your life, the same in my life. Our lack of faith is the problem that God has with us.